Hello and welcome to an analysis of a simple two-player game, the Rook and Knight game. The rules of the game are play starts from a random coordinate on the grid. The first player is the Rook player. From this coordinate, the first player must make a move with the Rook either up or to the left. And then the second player becomes the knight player and plays from the same coordinate that the rook landed on. And he has to make a knight move, either up or to the left. If the knight can jump off the edge of the board at the top or the left, then the knight wins. But it gets blocked by the two squares just adjacent to the top left hand square of the grid. And if it lands on either of those two, it loses. And the rook can't jump off the edge of the board lands on the top left corner of the square field. So we have a rook and it can move up or to the left and then it becomes a knight and then the knight player makes a move and then the rook player makes a move. And now these are the two squares that are adjacent that are losing squares for the knight. And because it's got to move up or to the left, uh, it's going to land on one of these. And if it does, then it's the rook. So, on the other hand, if, if the rook gets too close to the edge, like this, then the knight can jump off the side. So that's the game. And if we draw out a grid of the start squares and the end squares for both of the pieces. So these are the start squares for the knight, the, st the end squares for the knight, the start squares for the rook, and the end squares for the rook. And a round circle means that it's a losing square. So it's losing if the knight lands at the end of its turn on one of these two squares. On the other hand, if the knight starts from one of these two uh, rows or columns here, then it can jump off the edge of the board, so it wins. And if the rook, if the sorry rook, gets all the way to the top right, top left hand corner, then it loses. So that's a losing square. So now the question is, given that is the definition of the game, can we work out um, uh, what is the best playing strategy? And the first thing we might notice is that, hey, if it's a, if it's a winning start square for a knight, well that means it's probably not a very good end square for the rook, because if the rook lands on that square that means the knight is starting on that square. So those are the same. And we call that rule B, where the knight start square informs the rook end square. And we have a similar rule the other way, from the rook start to the knight end. And uh, here we can see that because this square is a losing square, then actually this becomes a winning end square for the knight. So those two rules, A and B, update the uh, end squares. Now we look at a piece itself and we say okay um, if if it's if it's a losing end square and you can only reach a losing end square then it must be a losing start square. So these are the losing start squares for the rule. And we can do the same thing for the knight, but here we've got some winning, winning, uh, oh, so, so these are losing end squares, uh, so this is a losing start square, so we do the same thing for the knight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to repeat again the same process, so the rook end needs to update, and the knight end needs to update, and the rook start. And this time, instead of putting in losing squares, we're going to put in winning squares. So, these are start squares where you can reach a winning end square for the night. 
And similarly for the rock, these are start squares where you can reach this remaining square for the rock. And then we have to do the ends again. And now we do a repeat, but this time for the losing squares. And then we do the ends again. A repeat for the winning squares. And if we keep going, then you see that the grid starts to fill up sometimes. And we get this pattern. And what it says is that these are all the losing these are all the losing start squares for the knight. So if the knight starts on one of these squares, it loses. And if we look here, these are the winning end squares for the rock, which is the same as losing start squares for the knight. And if instead of a rook starting the square, we have a knight starting the square, we can see what's going on because these are the only two squares it can move to but whichever one it moves to the rock can move again to one of the squares where the knight is going to lose and the knight only has two options and at each step it's going to be stuck in this box and so in the end it's going to land on this square and then the knight is going this way and the rock is going to win. So that is the playing strategy. I hope you like the video. That's all for now.